This Shopify app has over 40 features and using this app alone, you can turn a boring, non-interactive Shopify template site into something that's truly unique, it's custom, and it's very interactive. So the app I'm gonna be covering today is called Vitals All-in-One Marketing. Now, I recently found this app when one of my SEO clients was asking for more features on their Shopify e-commerce store, such as upsells. And not only was I able to add upsells, but I was able to add a load of other features that have increased conversions and generated thousands of dollars of new sales. Now that's enough talking, let's just start going through the features one by one and definitely feel free to skip around because there are a lot of features in Vitals. Okay, so the first app I'm gonna cover is Visitor Replays. Now this is basically something that allows you to watch what the visitors of your website are doing. So before I implemented this app, I wasn't really confident in the changes I was making to the website and I didn't know if they were actually increasing conversions or really what the problems with the website were in the first place. So since I've added this app, I'm able to watch how long the visitor is staying on a page. What are they looking at? What are they reading? What are they skipping over? And it's just an infinite amount of really useful information that's pretty much changed the way that I do website design and SEO. If there's one app that's gonna help you increase conversions and generate more sales, it's probably this one because this app allows you to literally analyze every single part of your site, every product, every page, and you're gonna be able to make decisions based on that information. Now, the question you're probably all wondering is, can you watch the user type in their email and password? No, obviously that would be unethical and it would be a serious privacy concern. So you cannot see anything that the user types in. So before we move into the next feature, I do have one ask. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps my channel get found by more people. And I would appreciate it a lot because it took me quite a while to learn vitals and make this video. But let's get back to it. Okay, so the next feature is upsells. Now I have been messing around with a couple types of upsells. What is an upsell? It's basically an attempt to get the user to buy more products when they're looking through your store. So the two that I've been playing with have been volume discounts and product bundles. Now this upsell works surprisingly well. People just for some reason like to add more quantity of their favorite products and then get a percentage off. I guess it makes sense because people want more of their favorite things. The other upsell I've been playing with is the product bundles. Now you're basically able to combine different sets of products or just sets of products in the same collections in order to give a discount for buying those two products together. Now this is another upsell that works well because when somebody's looking at one of their favorite products and then they see an option to get this product but also this other product that they might like at a discount, um, there's no other opportunity on the site to get those two products at that discount and so it really is an opportunity for them to save money and try something new. Another feature is the countdown timer. Now this is when you're in a product you can see that there's a timer for a sale ending and this is pretty much to promote urgency for the person buying that product. If there's no sales or no urgency created then the chances of them buying the product are a lot lower because they feel like they can just come back tomorrow and get it at the same price or come back a year from now and it won't be anywhere. But with the countdown timer you can really create that urgency and give them a deal that they're actually incentivized to buy it now. Okay, so next up is the cart timer. Now this is another one of those apps that creates FOMO, creates urgency. So when somebody adds products to their cart, they're going to go in and see that the cart is only reserved for X amount of time, say 25 minutes. This is another one that's gonna make them say, hey, if I don't buy this now, I might not actually have the chance to get it in the next 30 minutes. So let me make sure that I put this order in and I get my product. Okay, the next feature is announcement bars. So you've probably seen these before, uh, whether it's at the top of the site or the bottom, it's a little bar that has some sort of offer, some sort of incentivization for the customer to go somewhere or do something. Um, the way that I implemented it into FarmTrue was by adding the welcome code for new users. So the first time that somebody ever enters the store, they can see this announcement bar come up it says if you want to subscribe then you can get 15 percent off your first order now this is a great way to keep new customers engaged with your company keep them reading your newsletter and being a fan of your products but the problem we were having was that the pop-up was way too obstructive and using the visitor replays app we were able to find out that people were leaving the second the pop-up came up because it's so obstructed so we turned it into the announcement bar and I'll tell you how it goes in the next update, but as of now, we think that it's going to be a major upgrade from the pop-up. 
So speaking of pop-ups, Vitals also has the option for a couple different kinds of pop-up ads. Now, pop-ups are great, you know, they have their purposes, they, they can be very beneficial in a lot of cases, but if they're used incorrectly, then it's going to really hurt your conversion rate and frankly piss people off. Auto external links. This is a feature that automatically turns all of the links on your website to links that open in a new tab. Now, when I say all of the links, I'm not talking about links to your own site, but I'm talking about external links. So if you're linking to another site or another company, for example, you would click on that link and then it automatically opens in a new tab. Now, why might you want this? It's because you don't want people clicking on other links and then leaving your website and forgetting about you. You want your tab to stay on the left and then a new tab to open up so that they can quickly navigate back and forth between both sites. SEO alt tags. So this is just another small feature that pretty much automatically implements alt tags into the photos on your Shopify site. You know alt tags are good for your site and for your photos because Google does not have the ability to look at a photo. All they could do is look at the file name and then the alt tag. So it's really important that your alt tags all are named with either the product name or the keyword that you're targeting and this tool automatically does it for you which is really nice. Okay, the last two features I'm going to be covering are the agreed to terms checkbox and the cookies bar. First up is the agreed to terms checkbox. Now what this does is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to make you agree to the terms and conditions of the company so that the company is not liable against potential lawsuits and the user knows what they're agreeing to before they actually move forward with an action. And lastly is the cookies bar. So it's a requirement that your website tells users if they're tracking information such as cookies and you should tell the user it's their right of privacy to know that they're being tracked, what information is being tracked and how it's being used. Needless to say, this app has a lot of features and functionality. Now, this could potentially be the single app that you need to turn a boring template site into something that's completely custom and interactive. So I definitely encourage you to check out the app and let me know what you think of it in the comments. Also, let me know what other apps you'd like me to check out and review. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then again, please leave me that thumbs up. It helps my videos get found by more people. And also subscribe to the channel for more web design, web flow, and Shopify content. I'll see you in the next one.